हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम विक्रम फ्रॉम इजी ऑन टेक्नोलॉजीज वेलकम टू माय जावा वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू टेक इनपुट फ्रॉम कीबोर्ड थ्रू द स्कैनर क्लास सो बिफोर गोइंग टू कोड आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ इनपुट एंड आउटपुट इन जावा सो लेट्स हैव ए लुक एट द बेसिक डिस्कशन ऑफ इनपुट आउटपुट सो दिस इज इनपुट एंड दिस इज output just a moment okay fine so i'm going to talk about input and output so we have this java virtual machine where the java programs will be running so java virtual machine and uh, this part we can have input and output devices so i'm going to divide this in two parts so this is the external thing this is not part of java virtual machine external io media or you can say devices now here i am going to categorize the input output devices here i am going to use this is keyboard you can have here files you can have network like this similarly i'm going to use here this is monitor this is file and network right so these are the input devices this part is a input device and this part is a output devices okay now taking the data into java virtual machine from any external medium is a input so i'm going to use here streams streams are representing the sequence of characters sequence of bytes and it is just like a pipe where the data can flow through so this is the pipe and uh, the data will be entered in the pipe from one end and the data can be taken from the second end so let's assume that i want to take the input from keyboard so you need to connect keyboard with the pipe and this pipe is your stream and when you are taking the data into jvm from external source is a input so taking the data from outside into jvm is a input so always remember with respect to the jvm so taking the data into jvm is a input and taking the data out of the jvm is a output or sending the data out of the jvm is a output so remember with respect to java virtual machine now this is your keyboard is a keyboard is representing input stream it is internally it is internally working through one object which is known as system dot in this system dot in is your default input stream standard input stream or default in st input stream so this keyboard is represented by system dot in which is a type of input stream object and this input stream object is ready to supply the input from keyboard and that's why it is known as default input stream or standard input device standard input stream which is connected with the monitor so taking the data from the external source into jvm is a input stream so let me call here this is your input stream similarly sending the data outside of the jvm is a output stream so let me draw this pipe here properly so this time the data will be supplied from the jvm end and this data will be accessible from the and this data will be sent to the output destination so here i am going to use monitor as my output destination so i am going to connect this to monitor and monitor is nothing but your system dot out so system dot out is a print stream object which is representing the default output device this is representing default output device default output stream which is connected to the monitor so system dot in represents keyboard and system dot out represents monitor so remember do these two things it is also known as default input and output devices or standard input output is a better term you can use here 
standard input and output why standard because this standard can be changed depends on the host configuration host configuration means your operating system so operating system is deciding what is the default input device in your computer and what is the default output device in your in your computer so generally standard input device is nothing but your monitor sorry keyboard and standard output device will be your monitor so when you uh, go through the uh, java documentation you will understand these things properly now i'm going to show you the code here so this is one important thing i forget here so this is your output stream output stream means sending the data outside from jvm so this is representing output now let's talk about the code so here i'm going to create a project create a simple java project here so this is keyboard input application i'm going to take the input and save this program in d drive this is my work folder i'm going to save this program and here you need to create a main class so create this main class so this is input you can say this is test input now you can describe the program so this is a small description you should write here taking input from keyboard which is your system dot in using scanner class i am using here which is part of the uh, utility package and this scanner class is working through the delimiter pattern where the default delimiter is a space character so by default the input will be taken in, input will be uh, tokenized through the space character so let me show you through the code that will be i think more easier to understand now here you need to create a object here scanner just a moment so this is a scanner object i am using and you need to create this scanner through new scanner and uh, you need to import the scanner from utility package and you need to supply the input stream object here and my default input device will be my default input device is system dot in as i already talk about the standard input device which is keyboard and it is represented by system dot in instance so this is system dot in i connected here and now i can get the data directly from this keyboard because it is a ready to supply stream system dot in is a ready to supply stream it is already open and it, it can provide you data now you can get the data here through a method call let me write a small message here enter and int value so let me show you different kind of values i will enter from this program so enter the integer value so let me take the integer value here so that integer value i will assign here so you can call here s dot next int it's a method so this method will read one number from the keyboard and that number will be converted into integer through this next int method it will pass the input and that input will be converted into integer right this is one now try to print that the value of i you can print the value of i here this is i right now let me run this program then i will talk about reading more values just run it it's done look at this enter and int value so let me enter here some value which is for example it is 10 look at this look at the value this value of i is 10 it's very simple to take the values similarly you can take here different kind of inputs i'm going to enter a float value it's a float value you can take here so this is the float method let me change this to f and the method is next float 
so when you are saying here next float you will get the input in float and the value of f will be right so let me run this Inti enter int value so this is integer value right enter a float value so this is 10.5 right so you will see here the float value is 10.5 and this is integer value similarly you can get here different kind of values like uh, I would like to show you a simple string you can read from this so this is enter enter a string string value so a simple method you can call here string this is simple string and the method is next method right and you can print here value of s and print this you will get here simple string and what is wrong okay str the variable is already defined above so str this is better str okay fine run this integer enter integer value 10 fine integer float value 10.5 fine enter inter string value this is Vikram you will see here this string is Vikram right one important thing I'm going to show you here I entered a single word so when you enter multiple words we are not going to get from this simple method so let me show you how to resolve that let me run this program again and show you the error this is int value 10 float value 10.0 fine string value let me write here my first name and last name as I already told you the scanner class is based on delimiter pattern and the default delimiter is a space character so when you when it when it finds your space character this will be considered as different thing and this will be treated as your primary input so look at this let me write here enter you will get here only Vikram you entered Vikram Thakur due to this space as delimiter you have got only first word so this is a limitation here because the way scanner is working is all based on the delimiter standard so it is tokenizing your string through the space character okay now what you can do here to get the value from to read a line you can say you can do a simple thing enter a line enter a line you can input multiple words here and you can read through this method next line and let me write here this is line and this is a line input it's line it's an entered line or input line you can print here okay fine user has to enter one line here and that will be printed here okay now look at the change run this program enter integer value fine 20.5 right it's a float value correct and this is Vikram space Thakur great look at the problem we entered here Vikram Thakur the next method has got the first word and the second word is given as input to the second next ma next line method so this method has received Thakur so next line when this is uh, run it has read here second word which is Thakur look at the output here this is Vikram we entered Vikram Thakur actually but the next method can read single word right and the next word which is already present in input stream is given to here and it has not asked me for input because input was already there and that has been read so this is the problem so how we can resolve this let me write a small thing here so once you have done reading of this value you can create here one dummy statement so s dot you can create one next line so just do this line here simple next line mm, where is that method method it's a next line just keep this statement as it is because this will read the remaining data from the previous from the same input stream and I'm not going to use that because what is happening here I entered Vikram Thakur Vikram is correct but this Thakur is a second word second word is given as input to the 
next line method but I don't want to use that so this is not required so what I'm doing I wrote here a dummy statement which will get the Thakur so here Thakur will be read by this which is not being used by me and now here I will get the next line which will be entered by the user so look at this let me run this you will understand properly now enter correct now enter float value this is 10.5 is correct now enter string value I'm going to enter two words this is Vikram and Thakur right and as a behavior of the a delimiter pattern here I am reading Vikram Thakur but only Vikram will be read by this next method because it is not reading the second word okay we have already seen that enter this look at this the word is read here first word is read now it is asking for the next line so let me enter here this is a line look at this and it has read my line properly right so this is important thing you need to understand and what and why I need to create why I need this additional statement because this particular method is reading first word and the second word which is already present in input stream will be read by this next line method so if you are not going to use this line that input will be read here automatically and this line will get the Vikram or uh, this line will get the Thakur as second word so second word will be considered as input for this method so I don't want to uh, consider any remaining data from this method so what I can do I can place one dummy statement here so this is the way you can handle the input so it is based on the delimiter pattern and the default delimiter is in the scanner class is a space character but uh, but don't worry there is a provision to change the delimiter through regular expressions you can use but this is the simple way we can take the input so I hope this is done for now and thanks for watching if you have any query you can ask in comments and don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye hello friends I'm Vikram from easy on technologies welcome to my core Java video series in my previous video I talk about how to take input from keyboard with the help of uh, scanner class and uh, now in this video I'm going to talk about how to take input through a small swing pop-up window which is a graphical way to take the input so in fact you can use that so let me create one class so take input so let me write here GUI input so you can use graphical user interface to take the input so it's a GUI input you should describe the class name here taking input using GUI input dialog it is part of the swing library say swing API I am going to use here for taking the input so let me show you how to do this this is more easier way I think so I'm going to take one value from the user so suppose I'm going to take a name so name you can take from the user using this J option so J option pane is a class you need to import from the swing package and look at the package name here it's extension package Java X dot swing dot this is your class and it has a method static method you can call here this is a method name so input dialog so you can call this method you can write a message here what message you want to display to user enter or you can say here your name okay so this name this will be displayed as a caption it's a label and the value entered by the user will be assigned here right and the input I'm going to print here so just print the name here name sorry name you can print here name right this is the way you can take the name similarly uh, one more thing I'm going to take I'm going to take the salary which the salary will be float so this is salary and you can take here salary again the data will be always provided in the form of a string using this so input method so the everything will be given by this method will be string so you can take the data in a string variable 
str salary and take the salary here j option panel dot so input dialog you can take here enter salary okay so the salary will be given as string but you can convert in float with the help of simple technique this is new float I'm using wrapper classes here and this is str salary okay so this is how you can convert the uh, string salary into the float salary with the help of this simple technique similarly you can take anything you can take anything from user like one more thing I'm going to show you integer and uh, I'm going to take here the age let me take here age so the age will be entered by user and J option panel dot so input dialog sorry so this is input dialog enter age that age will be given here as a string you can convert in integer through this method okay fine so I got all these values name salary then age print all the values here this is name this is name you can print and this is name then salary and this one is age so I got all these values it's very simple way so this method this so input method will show one small pop-up user has to enter the detail and that detail will be considered as string by default and uh, for different types you need to convert through like this look at this new integer new float I'm using it in fact there is one more method called parse in parse float you can use for converting your string value into the required data type right so let's run this quickly it's very simple look at this it is asking for the name so my name is Vikram Thakur okay it is asking for the salary now salary is this is some salary I think this is sufficient okay I got the salary and age is 33 yes okay so these are the values I taken here uh, out of the range or not I should not say it is out of the range but long values will be converted in the exponential form so don't worry you can use some you can take some small salary run this again uh, this is Vikram Thakur and you can say here this is my salary okay fine age is 33 okay fine I got these values the name salary and age why this is printed here twice what is wrong okay I printed here too okay fine so this is the way you can take input so I'm taking the detail th through this method this is another simple method but remember this will work only when you have done this simple import so I, I hope this is enough for this video if you have any difficulty you can ask in comments and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching